our warm up, our nice big arm circles. And switch directions. Good, we'll switch our arms up. And switch directions. We'll move into our arm swings, trying to open up our back and chest. Good, when you feel good there, we're gonna move in to our leg swings, starting side to side. We pull out and then across our body. And switch sides. Good, now we'll go front to back. Thinking about warming up those hip flexors, quads, hamstrings, glutes. And switch. Man, my belt is all over the place. And now we're going to work into our hip hinges, feet, our shoulder width apart, all 10 toes face forward. Think about keeping your back nice and long as we hinge, finding length in the back of our hamstrings. Then we pull up, squeeze our glutes at the top. We'll do about 10 of these. And after that, We'll sink into our squats. Weight stays in our heels as we drop, trying to get our thighs parallel to the ceiling. Squeeze for a second at the bottom. Really pushing our feet into the ground to accelerate us up. Good, and then from there, we're gonna go into that kind of Spider-Man stretch. So first we'll fold over, hands go to the ground. We crawl our hands into a high plank position. Right hand comes outside right foot. You can drop your elbow to your big toe or you can just twist open. Hand goes down, foot goes back. We go with the left foot, twist open. Walk our hands back and then back out. We're going to do a total of four of these. Really trying to get deep into that lunge. Nice rotation. Start to warm up our core, shoulders, hamstrings. Everything gets touched here. Try to get all your toes to point forward. And when you're done with that, then you can warm up anywhere else that needs a little bit extra love. 
while I explain our first exercises, I feel like the light's hitting just a little weird. So I'm gonna try to angle that down. Okay, so our first four exercises are a deadlift with a hop, our half kneeling press, hand release push-ups, and a reverse row to fly. Um, so a couple of the groups of exercises here have like a unilateral movement. So where that's the case, then we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. So there'll be a little bit longer rounds. But when we start with our deadlift with um, a hop, we stand that weight up right between our feet. We incorporate that hinge we just worked, grab our weight, squeeze up, lower it down, stay in your legs, hop back, hop forward, reestablish that hinge to lift, lower, hop back, hop forward. Then we have our half kneeling press. So we're down on one knee, one foot's up, pushing through the knee and the heel. The weight is in the hand of the knee that's down. And we just stay nice and tall, press up. So we'll do 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Then from there, we'll go into our hand release push-ups. So we'll start in a nice high plank, slowly lower down, hands lift off the mat, push back up, slowly lower down, push back up. And then our last exercise, we'll stand up for a reverse row to fly. So we'll have two weights, slight bend in our elbows as we row, squeezing elbows in tight to our rib cage. Weights lower, we fly backwards, row, fly backwards. So we're three times through that, 30 seconds each, and then we'll have two minutes of Tabata, so four rounds, okay? I'm just getting my cam or my timer, and let us begin. So we have our deadlift with hops right now, really trying to work our hamstrings, and then double up with the little quad work as we're hopping, staying engaged in our legs. Try to not pull the weight up with your traps and shoulders. Arms stay relaxed while you're holding that weight. Good, establish that half kneel position. Right knee down, belly button in. Press just one side right now. Straight up, your bicep ends up by your ear. Stay nice and solid on this side. I want the knee and foot still shoulder width apart under you. And switch sides, but we're doing the same movement here. Shoulders are pointed forward, hips pointed forward. 10 more seconds here. Then the weight goes down and we're into our hand release push ups. Good, weight down, hands under shoulders, feet back, lower yourself nice and in control. Hands come off the mat and we lift ourselves up in one straight line. Always the option here to lower to your knees. Feel nice and in control of your body here. Pop it on up, grab both weights. We row, fly. So really think about on the row, squeezing the bottom tip of your shoulder blades together. And on the fly, you're more in the center of your shoulder blades. Three, two, one. One weight stands up straight. Right away, we're into those deadlift tops again. Try to be explosive. Reestablish that hinge over the weight. 
we tend to get into a little bit more of a squat with our hops, which is okay. Good, half knee, I'll pick up that one weight. Knee and foot, shoulder width apart, push straight up. We're thinking about core engagement here. Belly button pulled back and in toward your spine. Pushing just from this right side. Good, switch sides. Pull that, that hip forward, that's kneeling. That's gonna engage the glute, the core. We're here for five more seconds, then we'll lower that weight for push-ups. Three, two, one, straight away into push-ups. I want you, as we lift, to think about your whole body coming up as one. It's not your chest, hips, then thighs, everything lifts at one time. We're pushing our hands against the ground to lift our bodies. Good, back up again, grab those weights. We row, fly. Row, elbows in tight to rib cage. Fly, squeeze behind you. We have one more round here. So, I like these sets of three, because the first round, we get to learn the movement, kind of get comfortable with it. Second round, drop one weight. Back to deadlifts, we get to perfect the movement, kind of push ourselves into that fatigue for the third round, where we push a little bit through the fatigue and really get to work those muscles. Good, half kneel, right side, Pull the hip forward, core is engaged, and push. Straight up. Holding a column through our neck, core, legs, we're steady under us. Switch sides. Halfway, come on. Just pulling through the lat and the shoulder. Weight goes down, in to our hand release push-ups. Focus this time. See how many you can do before dropping to your knees. See if you even have to drop to your knees. You got this. Nice straight line. Hop on up for the last time. Um, we have row to reverse fly. While we're here, I want you to think about your Tabata. You can do the same movement, alternate movements. We just have two minutes, which means four rounds, okay? You'll get about a 30 second recovery and then we'll jump on in. Five, four, three, two, one. Quick recovery before we go right into this Tabata. So I think I'm gonna do um, first 
frog hops, of course. And I'm gonna to try to just stay in the frog hops for these two minutes here, but you always have the option, high knees, burpees, squats, whatever you want. But let's start this first round for 20 seconds. Remember the goal here is pushing, elevating heart rate, and then recovering before taxing it again. Relax. Quarter of the way done. Woo! We go again in three, two, one. Really try to elevate your heart rate here. Relax. Try to keep your reps the same here. Maybe you count to give you a goal to work for to stay the same. Let's go. Round three here, come on. This is the first of three Tabatas. Relax. Whew. My quads are on by ya. We go for one more round. In three, two, one. Come on. And relax. Woo! Round one. Done. Get some water. And then we'll jump into this second round. Whew. Okay, this time we have our squat thrusters. So we'll want both weights, feet under shoulder, shoulders, your toes may turn out just a little at like 11 and one. Squat, push through your heels, and we thrust our weights all the way up, biceps by our ears. Then you'll keep your weights, sorry, and we'll have lateral raises. So we're just standing nice and tall, lifting these weights up to just shoulder height. Keeping our shoulders pulled back and down. Nice, strong core. Then we have our dolphin push-ups. So we haven't done these in a little while, but think about making a V almost while in a low plank. So our elbows are under shoulders. We're pushing through our heels. And then we're thinking about squeezing our core. You roll up onto your tippy toes and you return down. Squeezing your core where it does lift your butt in the air a little bit, but we're not using it as kind of a cheat in the plank. We're thinking about squeezing our core so tight, we have nowhere else to go but to kind of make that V with our body. And then we flip over for our reverse crunch. So our feet are straight up in the air, arms are down flat on the ground, we lift our feet to the ceiling and lower in control. Same idea as last time, 30 seconds each exercise, three times through, okay? We are starting with our squat thrusters. Let's go. Getting nice and low and being explosive as we squat. Those weights up, pushing through our heels, getting our thighs all the way parallel to the ground. Three, two, 
One, keep your weight, lateral raise. Just straight out. Whoo! Shoulders are gonna feel the burn. We're halfway through. Stay with me. You can alternate arms if you need, or just stay with both. Good, weights down, low plank. We're into that dolphin plank. It's not a big movement, but you should roll up onto your tippy toes and squeeze that core tight. Three, two, one, flip on over, reverse crunch. That's all we're going into. Feet lift towards the ceiling, lower in control. Thinking about your abs, doing all the work here. Keep working. We have five more seconds. Good. Hop on up. Here we go, round two. We know the movement. Now we work on pushing some reps here. Feeling strong, confident in the movements we're doing. Squatting nice and low. Good. Weights down by your side. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Those shoulders pull back and down. Core is tight. Woo! Stay with me here. Good, weights down. Low plank for those don or not donkey, dolphin push-ups. Your head rolls forward a little bit as you push onto your tippy toes, but reestablish that nice low plank each time. Flip it on over. Here we go, reverse crunch. Legs are glued together. Lift, lower in control. We're almost through round two. And we go for the third. Good, hop it on up. We grab both weights. Let's do it. Push through the fatigue here. We start to test our body a little bit here. Good, keep those weights. We have lateral raises. Last time, stay with me. Woo! Shoulders are on fire. Weights down. Low plank, last time here, we're crunching those abs up, reestablishing that nice low plank. Reset, squeeze. Good, 
We got this. Flip it on over. Reverse crunch here. Control the lowering by thinking about your abs doing the work for you. And relax. We have a quick 30 and we go two minutes of Tabata again, okay? I think this time I'm gonna do alternating mountain climbers and squat jacks, okay? But always again, the option to take it where you would like. But we start in three, two, one. Push. We just have four rounds again. For five more seconds, come on. Good, relax. I think I'm just gonna stay in these squat jacks, my favorite. We go in three, two, one. Come on. Push, increase reps here. You gotta break after this. Get that heart rate up. Relax. Woo. Halfway. We go. Three, two, one. Come on. If you're doing something that jumps, maybe you jump a little higher, a little further. Think about being explosive. Relax. Woo. One more round. We got this. Three, two, one. Come on. That's 20 seconds. Push. And relax. Excellent. Job. Two rounds done. Get some water. And we'll jump into number three. Oof. Okay. Four exercises again. Except this time. We do have one um, that we do each side. So we have a reverse lunge with a twist. One leg, we'll do 30 seconds. Then we'll switch into our other leg 30 seconds. Couple options on the twist. You're gonna twist towards the leg that's in the front. You can keep your arms in close, twist, once you lunge, you can reach out, twist, or you can keep that weight hanging out in front of you the whole time. Obviously, a little bit of increased arm work there. So we do 30 seconds of lunge, twist, all just moving the right leg, then all moving the left. Then we have our Arnold press. So this, is where we're gonna start by curling up. Then as we press up, we rotate our palms out. And as we come back down, our palms will end up facing us. Up, rotate out, down, rotate in. Then we go straight into hammer curls. Shoulders pulled back and down, palms facing in towards your body. We just curl those weights up. And this one, we 
are gonna end in a reverse plank, just a plank hold. So our palms are down on the ground and we're gonna think about creating a straight line from our heels, pushing through, lifting our butt, toes up towards the ceiling, heart up towards the ceiling, and just holding that for 30 seconds, okay? You guys have got the format by now. So let's jump into this guy. Starting with our lunges, let's begin. Remember, we just have one leg moving back for 30 seconds. Really think about squeezing that core to twist. Taking whatever variation you'd like and switch legs. On your lunge, your feet can stay shoulder width apart under you. All 10 toes face forward. Grab both weights. We have the Arnold press. So first we just curl to raise those weights. As we push up, we rotate out. Lot of shoulder work today. Presses, both one-sided, two-sided. This one, is working the different heads that make up our rotator cuff as we're rotating and moving the weight. Good, weights down by your side, hammer curl. Palm space in towards your body. Keep your shoulders pulled back and down. I don't want your shoulders hiked up by your ears. Relax them back. Pull the weights off your side and curl them up. We're here for 10 more seconds. Then we drop our weights for a reverse plank. Three, two, one, meet me there. And we just hold it. Then we're back to the top with our reverse lunge. Lift those hips. You got it, don't let yourself start to sink. Good, stand on up, grab one weight, and our twist we go. Pushing off that back leg to return to center. Being powerful, intentional. Switch your legs up. Getting a nice low lunge. Feeling balance under you. Twisting that core. Good, both weights into our press. As we press up, palms rotate out. You can test yourself a little bit to see if you never let those elbows 
drop below 90. Good. Now those elbows can drop curls. Here we go. Stable through your core, through your feet. Movement just coming out of those elbows. Three, two, one, weights drop, reverse plank. Meet me there right away. Push and lift. Nice and flat. We're almost there. Good, hop up, here we go. Round three. Best round. Really connecting our mind to each movement here. The different parts of our body we're working. Other leg. Stay with me. Last time through these. Good, both weights. We've got that press. Come on. Press up, rotate out. Try to keep those elbows high. Puts a little extra burn in those shoulders, biceps, and triceps. Keep going. Three, two, one. Elbows down, shoulders back. Curl with me. We're almost there. Halfway, come on. Only movement through our elbows. Good. Weights down, reverse plank. Meet me there. Hold it. Lift a little higher. Feel the shake under you, but embrace it. We're halfway, come on. Lift for three, two, and one. We have 30 seconds to recover. Then we have our last round of Tabata. I think this time I'm gonna do the little knee drive things. See if I can do it for the four rounds here without having a heart attack. We're gonna go in three, two, one. Let's go. Push your heart right here. Being powerful with whatever movement you choose. Relax. Excellent. I'm actually going to alternate between mountain climbers and those. We go in three, two, one. Come on. Push. This is your last Tabata, your last little bit of cardio. Push. You got it.
relax. Halfway through. Two more rounds. That's all I need from you here. Three, two, one. Let's go.
Stay with me. We're almost there. Good. Onto our backs. We have bicycles. Here we go. Crunching up and over. Pushing through your heels. Come on. That core should be on fire. Three, two, one, legs laid flat, lift those hands, tuck your chin to pull yourself upright, sit up nice and tall, tuck your chin, and then sink back down. Again, not a movement where we're pushing for reps necessarily, but even the slower here, the better, the more control you have. To your side again, we're into clamshells. Moving through these quick. Lift, squeeze, pushing through your elbow, keeping your shoulders pulled back. Our chest doesn't round forward. And flip sides. You got this. We are almost done. Pushing our body in this last little block. Onto our back, we're in bicycles. The elbow connects to your knee as you crunch up and over. Good, legs lay flat, roll ups. Chin tucks as you roll back. In both parts of this movement, you should really feel that bully belly button pull back towards your spine and up into your rib cage. Last round, doing a little speed round here. We're in clams. We're just going for 20 seconds here. It's gonna feel lightning fast. Switch sides. Last 10 on this side. On our backs, bicycles, here we go. Push. Good. Legs flat, last 20 seconds here. Think about that control that you have over your whole body. It's stemming from a nice strong core. and relax. Excellent work. We made it through. Get some quick, quick water. And then I'll stretch you guys out a little and send you on your way.
we'll do our stretching from the ground today because that's where we are. So let's just start with the nice little butterfly. Soles of our feet connect. You can pull your heels in towards you and then think about dropping your knees down in opposite directions. It's a good spot to do some neck rolls here or maybe you just nod yes and no. Loosening up anywhere the catch is a little, feels a little bit tight. Good. Now we stretch those legs out nice and long, glue together, big inhale and exhale. We bend at our hips, reach for our feet or wherever we can grab onto. Maybe it's just our ankles. But think about lowering that chest down toward your thighs. Again, taking some nice deep breaths here. Take one more big inhale. And as we exhale, we'll sit up nice and tall. Give our arms a little bit of love. Pull that right across your body. And switch, reach the left across. And we'll do our triceps, hand reaches down our back. And switch. Good. We'll cross one leg over the other, planting our foot on the outside of our knee. Opposite elbow connects to the outside of that thigh. We apply equal pressure and we rotate to see that back wall over that back shoulder. And switch, go the other way. Good, relax out of that, we'll spin or you don't have to spin. Um, we'll just lay flat on our backs. Go right into a figure four. So one ankle crosses over the knee and then pull that knee in towards your chest. Feel this deep in the pointy part of that four up in your glute. At least that's where you should be feeling it. And then place that foot back on the ground and we'll, we're going to do our pretzel. So think about squeezing your inner thighs together. That should cross your legs over. They're going to drop down to the side with the bottom leg. Shoulders stay glued to the mat. Feel some nice stretching through that side body, your obliques. Good, unravel, we figure four the other way. And pull into your chest. That foot falls on the ground, inner thighs squeeze together and drop the other way 
to do the pretzel in the opposite direction. Good, we'll pull our knees upright from there. You can unravel them. Place your, the soles of your feet together again. Lay them on the ground and let your knees fall open in opposite directions. Really let those knees hang heavy. Now we'll zip those legs up. Squeeze your knees tight into your chest here. Good. Let go of those knees. Keep them glued together though. Stack your knees over your hips at 90 degrees. Ankles in line with your knees. Glue those shoulder blades down to the mat and then rotate side to side here, getting some nice spinal rotation in. Go about three to four each direction. And when you feel ready, you can roll yourself over to one side to push yourself up. And we will call it a night with that. Thank you guys for coming. I'm very happy to be